welcome to my this week's shop my stash where I go over the products that were picked out from last week and then we go through and literally shop my stash so start with our palettes eyeshadow and then work our way over here and then we'll go pick out things so we have the Too Faced that's my jam palette I actually did not end up using this one so I don't so I'll probably just I don't, know if, uh, I don't know if I'll keep it out or put it back up, so I'm just going to put it right here in the dis decision making area. So we have the Huda Beauty Naughty Palette. I used this once. Uh, I love that it's a purple, brown, pink, red tone palette. Like, obsessed with some golds in there. So, that was a nice use. We have the Club Nebula from Kaleidos. This was by far my favorite palette to use of the week. The shimmers are phenomenal. So worth the 77 bucks I spent. We have the JSC Prick palette. I got, a more, I got a gorgeous orange look from this palette and was not even mad with the gold. I was very happy with this. It's a bulky weird store, but it's gorgeous. And I have the XS XX Revolution Powerpuff Girl palette. So I didn't use the bubble side, but I did use Blossom and Buttercup. And love my look. I mainly used the Buttercups side and then used one shade from Blossom. But I did like it, and a day was saved or they saved is whatever, you know, I liked it. Very nice purchase on my part. So, oh, and the single shadow right here from ColourPop and shade Ice Cream, I did not use, so I'm gonna leave this out to go. To go again, we're gonna try one more time. And I think I'll use, gosh, decisions, decisions. I'll go ahead and leave this out to try again to use, so I'll just pick three palettes this week, because I'm only going to pick four palettes every week, I think, for now on, because more than four is too many for me to just gravitate towards, so four palettes it is. So, we'll start with stuff here in the back. We have the Natasha Denona. I always leave the phones here. Diamond blush. I like darts. The highlight's my favorite part in here. I didn't use this. I didn't use any of anything in up here. I just used these two shades. This is a little too light, so I got to build it up or layer it with another blush. But I did like this palette. Put it back up. My favorite highlighter of the week, though, is this I Heart Revolution Blondie palette or highlight. If you have this in your cart and you're debating, this is a shine to the gods. It's not a subtle highlight. It is beaming. And I love it. Glad I bought this. I have the ABA, or not ABH, Becca. This is the Lilac Geo. This is more of a subtle highlight. But gorgeous, subtle pink highlight. the Nabla bronzer in the shade soft revenge um you go too heavy handed on it it will look muddy but i think it's just the formula itself but i i do like this i have a blush palette here or not blush palette a blush from benefit it's the california this is one of those mini ones listen i've had this for so many years and i still have not hit paint on it and i use this like a lot but I love it regardless. So I'll put it back in my stash. I did use my Project Pan bronzer a couple times this week. And then I used the Project Pan blush once this week. So but this is so gorgeous. More gorgeous than I thought, actually. And we have our Super Beauty Taffy. Taffy. Oh, I didn't injure anything. Taffy Water Activated Liner Palette. Love it. Keep it out. I do have a small profusion um, 
haul coming, so look out for that. And the little palette I have for shades and stuff I want to use, I did not use anything out of this palette. That's okay. Right now, these shades right through here, oh, okay. These shades right through here are Shroud Cosmetics, ColourPop Matte, and then ColourPop Glitters. So, slowly buying Indie Brand Single Shadows, so we're working on it. So, lip, most, the only lip product I used this week was the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Trap, and this is a beautiful nude shade. I love it. I'll put it back up. I did use the Hollywood Flawless Filter uh, Primer, or foundation, whatever you use this for. I use it for primer. I use this a lot this week. And then I use the YSL Touche de Clot Blur Primer. I used a couple times this week. Both primers are in my project pan. And I'll be using the Spinty Beauty and this Tarte Glow Foundation. This is a glow, and then the other one's a brighter. These two uh, concealers together are a gorgeous combination, both in Project Pan. Oh, I used a lot of my Project Pans this, uh, this week. And then with BBD Good Apple Foundation, I used this a couple times as well. I actually paired it with the Touch, the YSL blur primer to open. So I've been using the heck out of this. Um, it's almost empty. Woo! Second foundation of the year to be empty, actually. So this is exciting. Um, this goes well with that YSL foundation. And my non-project pan is the Neutrogena. I'm like right to here. This is lovely. I only, cause it's a real sheer coverage. Um, so I was using it with the Hollywood, or dang it, can't know what you're talking. I've been using it with this, which is a great combination. It fakes, it fakes the look of full coverage. So that's nice. But I'm gonna put this foundation up. But I really like this. I'm just still sad they don't have the best of shade range. So then we have our stunning spray from Milk Makeup. It's the Hydro Grip. We'll put this back up. Love this stuff. I did use my Project Pan spray quite a few times, so we're getting somewhere. I used the Tarte Big Ego. This is the brow pot here, medium brown. I used this all week. It's pretty nice. And then Tarte C Hydro Concealer. I used this too quite a few times this week. I was on a roll this week. We have our Fenty Beauty Setting Powder. I'm going to put this back up. We have our Pat McGrath. This is their Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. I use it as an all over finishing powder, and it's going great. So I'm going to keep this out. Itch my eye. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put this Pat McGrath Blaz one up too because I'm gonna pick a whole nother finishing powder. So I have the Tartist, the Tarte Opening Act Lash Primer. I'm gonna keep that one out. Um, I did pull this out to use this Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara, but I do not know if I really like this. So uh, I'm gonna put that back up. And then I've been using the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara. I'm going to keep this out because this I really do like. I did use the ColourPop Piggy Bank Eye Purple Eyeliner once this week. Oh, I just used it Friday, actually. Okay, and brows. I brought this out to use. I used it once, but I'm going to put it back up. Trying to use more of my products. So we have the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter, which I have in my Project Pin. And I put it in there because I got a free one in the mail, so I might as well use this one up. We have 
how hard. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in shade Eden. So that's nice. Keeping that out. We have our NYX Glitter Glue. I'm using it for my shimmers. And then I did use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance uh, Eye Primer once. So yeah, and it worked out quite nice. Put it back in. All right, so now that we have everything up, this is all that is left out last week. So let's go ahead and pick out our new stuff. Ugh. Gotta get out of my chair. Take a drink of my coffee first, guys. Sorry, it's all wobbly. Okay, so let's start with primer. We have our small little drugstore section here and then we have this big section so let's see let's just go out of the non-drugstore i think because i know what foundation i want to use so that's a little light so i think i'm going to use the Becca backlight priming filter, which is just like a uh, illuminating primer. So we're going to use that. The concealer and foundation. Okay, so for foundation, I am going to go with the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. So we're going to use that. Now, oh, I did get this uh, Revlon Candid. Uh, foundation. I've had it before and I've used it up as well. It's natural finish. I love it. It's probably one of my favorite drugstore primers and, and not primers, foundations and it's in the shade 120. Highly recommend this. Okay and then concealer. I think we'll go ahead and use, let's go ahead and re-pull out the milk makeup concealer because I was really enjoying that one. So that's it for that drawer. So setting powder and finishing powder. Well for setting powder let's go ahead and pull out try to pull out the milk makeup translucent medium setting powder. And finishing powder, I want to pull. I have the Kosas. I haven't used the Kosas in a while. Yeah, let's go ahead and use the Kosas. It's got like a slight sheen to it, so let's go ahead and pull out Kosas to use for finishing powder. This is their Cloud Set, and it's in the shade Breezy. Because, you know, easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. My eyeball is bothering me. Sorry, I'm mentioning it real quick. Okay. And then we have bronzer. Yes, I had to do that because, listen, I, I was getting so annoyed with my giant size bronzers just hitting everything, and I really do not want to give any of them up. So, this is where I'm at right now in my life. <laughs> Because we're going glowy. I want to use a glowy one. So I think I want to use either. I want to pull out the Benefit Hula Glow Demo Size Bronzer. Right? Or I want to pull out Essence Glowing Gold. Or we can do L'Oreal Bronze, please. Glowish from Huda. That's all my shiny. Bronzers, yeah. I think though, I'm gonna go with the Essence Glowing Gold bronzer. Pretty sure I put that in there. So that's it. My eyes. Oh, I gotta sit up a little bit. And blush. Take over my dirty sponges. They'll be okay. Um, 
Let's see here. I think we will pull. Could pull another Essence product. Glowish. I think we are going to pull the Essence Wonderful Pink and Proud Blush Lighter as our weapon of choice. So let's wheel ourselves over. And I, of course, I'm going to pick a face palette too this week. So let's go with highlights. You know which one I kind of want to pull. Look at this RMS Beauty one here. Couldn't pull this one. Actually, let's go ahead and pull the shade Archie, and I do plan to pull out a face palette, so let's pull out Archie to use. And if I don't like this as a highlighter, I could use it as like a blush highlighter, like this. So, and then I would just go to put in a different drawer. So, let's see here. My Mel Cosmetics palette. Oh, so I think I'm gonna pull out for blushes. We're gonna pull out this Ace Butte Blushed in Paradise palette. And highlighter. Looking for highlighter too. Get them more. Let's look at that. You know, let's go ahead and pull the morph out for some extra highlights. Okay, so that's it from this drawer. Setting spray. Let's go ahead and use. it is still hot outside let's use the urban decay all-nighter and i'm mid -ship, so when i go in it's still pretty hot okay so brow gels i'm trying to use up that one brow gel so i'm not choosing a brow gel good mascara primer um Let's pull out the ABH. I kind of want to try to use this up because it's almost emptied. Don't want to pick out a mascara because I'm currently using uh, Giorgio Armani. I love it. Brow pencil. Let's go ahead and try the ColourPop one. That's new. Let's go ahead and try that one. Haven't used that yet. And then I have a single shade pulled out. I don't... We'll be pulling a single eyeshadow out this weekend so let's go ahead and leave this up here and let's go pick out our palette so turn around here oh gosh this is what I fell over myself now we're picking out three palettes in total so what I'm going to do so we're gonna go into our new drawer which is overflowing yes I just got these sample beauty palettes in the mail but I want to pull out one of these. So we're always going to pull out two new and then we're going to pull out two old. I want to use from Sample Beauty the Equalizer Volume 2 palette because look how pretty that is. So we're going to pull this out to use from them. And then let's pull out one of the older ones we have been sitting in here for a minute. 
So I'm either going to pull out the Caring Cloud, or Caring Counts Care Bear palette here. Just this pretty palette. Or I'm going to pull out the Milani Gilded Flora palette for the shimmers. So I haven't heard good things about this palette either. And so I'm like, oh man, do I really want to use this? So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and pull out the Milani Gilded Flora because if I never use it, I'm never gonna know. So that's it from our new drawer. Put some of this in here. I'm still gonna pull out four palettes because I did leave out a mini palette. That's that. Um, I do want to use a color pop. I want to use either, let's see, we're going to use the rock candy or the smoke and roses palette. Let's use the smoke and roses. Maybe I'll pick rock candy next time. So there's three, three palettes for right now. So let's see if there's, oh, I do know what I'm going to pull. The Live With Love Morph. This is like a year or two ago. Pride palette. I think it was last year. I don't remember. So we're going to pull this. And let's go put everything up now. This was a quick eyeshadow palette pick out. Because I already kind of knew what I had in mind. That I wanted to use. Okay. So let's set it all up in here. I kind of picked all big palettes. Listen, what we're gonna do without the big palette. So here we go. We have the equalizer in here, smoke and roses. The little palette fell down. Smoke with love. Oh, it fits so perfect. And that's my jam. So I still ended up picking out five palettes, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't know how to pick things out. I just be choosing. So put more palette here in the back. It's the butte color pop eyebrow pencil throwing away. Setting spray. Yeah. Our blush. Our bronzer. Highlight. Ooh, that's she is full back there. There is no more room. And we picked out this eye primer to try. Setting powder, finishing powder, foundation, primer, and concealer. So yeah, this is this week's Shop My Stash. Tell me, what have you picked out? Did I pick out any of your favorites? Something you didn't like? Let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.